Hi, Preston Sandlin here with Home Inspection Carolina. Um, today we're going to do electrical panel inspection. Um, so, kind of what, what a home inspector does when they see an electrical panel. Uh, so, for ease of time, I've already taken off the uh, the panel. Uh, and I just got a couple things to say about that. Make sure that the screws that hold the panel on or uh, they have blunt tips at the end. I hope that's focusing. You don't want wood scree screws or uh, piercing type screws because when they go through that box and through, see how there's like wires on the other side of that? They could pierce those wires and that would be bad. All right, so we've taken the panel off and uh, first thing I'm gonna look for is to make sure that the panel rating of the box is uh, not less than that of the amperage of all the breakers that I have. So I have a 200 amp box here and I am less than that on this box. You can find that right there. Um, so we're good there. Now, normally uh, we have a four wire system here coming in. We have a, a, you know, two hot wires, we have a ground and we have a neutral. Um, Actually, that's reversed. I'm sorry. The ground is here and the neutral's here. Um, and that's that's the ground. But um, usually we have a main breaker here. The main breaker on this particular panel is outside. So technically, this is a, uh, a, 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 a sub-panel. Um, but it is the meat of the house here. It has all the stuff because it's just a main breaker outside and it's 200 amp. So anyway, um, let's take a look at this. So a couple of things that we're looking for. The first thing that I do is uh, I want to just feel if anything's hot, you know, shouldn't be anything hot, nothing should be humming, uh, where it's pulling a lot more voltage than it should. I'm um, just checking the panel of uh, the breakers to make sure that none of them are loose. It's the first thing I'm going to do. Also, when you before you take the panel off, there shouldn't be any gaps in that panel as well. Uh, didn't have that here. All right, so next thing we're going to do is look at the wires going into the breakers. I wanna make sure that there's no corrosion, loose wires. Loose wires lead to heat, which leads to fires, which is bad. Um, also, there should be, see how these wires have bends in them? That means there's plenty of, uh, there's no tug or the, the wires aren't in there tight. And I foresee a problem, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so we're gonna look at that. The other thing, as we're doing that, and checking the tightness of the wires, looking for corrosion, uh, loose wires, we're also gonna check the gauge of the wires. Um, when you see a 20 amp breaker, uh, that's usually gonna be a kitchen and bathroom. That needs to be a, a 12 gauge wire. Um, or, and then you have a 15 amp breaker, which is gonna be most of your lights and circuit. Uh, that is gonna be a 14 gauge wire. Um, you know, if it's sized improperly, you're going to get too much heat and it's not, you know, it, it's, <laughs> creates fire, heat. Heat leads to fire and that's bad. Um, and then we have some bigger breakers for, uh, I think, looks like the dryer. Um, we got a 60 amp HVAC system. That looks like a number six wire, um, which looks okay. Um, so anyway, we are going to go through here and I'm just, now be careful, these are hot. Um, but I just want to make sure that they are um, not double tapped. And they're in there pretty snug. There's no loose wires. That's the first thing we're going to do here. So we're just checking all those. None of them seem to be loose. All right. This one I have a problem. I think they added a cabana. Um, it's a 50 amp breaker right there. But there's not any. Well, and the, the wire itself is pretty nicked up. That's a problem. Uh, and also, see how it's tight in there? It's got a lot of tension on it. That's going to be a write-up. I would really like it to have more of a curve and not be so tight, pull tension on it. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to write that up. Let's see what we got here. And that is your ground behind us. Most of this looks pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Not bad. All right, no double taps. That's good. Um, <clears throat> and uh, all the wires look pretty good, except I feel like there's too much tension on this 50 amp breaker right here. And that wires a little nicked up. Now, so we have our ground bus bar here, um, and it is grounded. You can see um, it has a ground wire that goes out to um, <clears throat> a rod that's in the ground, and it's grounded to the panel box, which keeps you from electrocution if a wire should get loose or that sort of thing. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go over here and look at the neutral bus bar, and uh, each one of these should be isolated. You cannot have those doubled up or double hitched just like on your other one. Um, so they are all isolated, which is good. 
Um, you'd be surprised how many times I find that. Um, and even though when there's extra space, and there's extra space, and there's extra space in this panel to add um, more future breakers. Um, not sure what the amperage, you know, that we're going to run into, but uh, there is extra space. So, let's review. Um, the main panel box outside, uh, 200 amp, it matches. Um, we don't have any double hitching. Um, ground wires look good. Uh, all the wires are tight. Uh, no corrosion, loose wiring. Uh, this one here is a little too snug for me, so I am going to write that up. Um, pretty easy fix, though, I think. Um, bus bar, the neutral bus bar looks good. The ground bus bar looks good. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is check the GFTI outlets here. Okay, they trip. It's going to be a kitchen and bathroom. Probably going to have to reset their clock now. Um, yep, it trips. Sometimes GFCIs will set uh, reset at the uh, panel. Sometimes they'll be at the actual uh, bathroom or kitchen themselves. The other thing I want to do is make sure that the um, box is uh, labeled. Um, everything here has to be labeled. Uh, home inspector is going to check that. Um, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, we don't have time to test every single one to make sure they're labeled correctly. We're going to trust. Uh, that, but, uh, um, you know, th it is labeled here that 50 amp was a pool. I was correct on that. They added a, uh, a, um, cabana for that, but it's got to be labeled. Um, if you ever do any major electrical work, I recommend turning off the main panel, um, just in case something's not labeled correctly. Um, but anyway, if it's major electrical work, you, I recommend calling an electrician. Uh, the overall neatness, eh. I give it about a B. It could be a little neater, but it's okay. Um, anyway, this is uh, Preston Sandlin with Home Inspection Carolina. If you have any home inspection questions or uh, anything about panel boxes or home inspections in general, check out our website, homeinspectioncarolina.com. There's also some resources there for buyers and sellers uh, and real estate agents. Thanks for watching. Um, if you got value out of this, please subscribe. I think it will be here when the video shows up. If not, it'll be over here. <laughs> Thanks a lot.